Transitioning to soccer, really interesting. Obviously, the big news out of Barcelona, Lionel Messi leaving Barcelona, but the big news out of France is that he is joining officially now. Lionel Messi is joining Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, on a two-year, $104 million contract with a third-year option, potentially, if he wanted it. And so he'll wear number 30. Neymar offered number 10. He said, hey, this is your jersey. You keep number 10. So he will wear jersey number 30 for the French team in, in the League One, playing at Parc uh, des, des Princesse. So obviously, as he should be, he was greeted yesterday with absolute fanfare everywhere he went. At the, the Bourget Airport, at the Parc des Princesse, and at the hotel that he was staying at with his family. Just absolutely fanatical scene. It was an absolute frenzy. It, it was Bedlam in Paris. They're absolutely going wild for Lionel Messi, as they should. As they should. What this guy means to the game, I talked about the legacy that he left in Barcelona. The magnitude of this moment in sports is astronomical. He has been one of the bedrocks of soccer for so long. Not only is he one of the greatest, if not the greatest, in my opinion, soccer player to have ever played the game, but what he's meant, the gravity of this moment for soccer is absolutely huge. And one of the things that I always said about him, you know, he, he spent his entire career in Barcelona beginning in 2000, 21 years. He's poured his heart, his heart, sweat and tears for one football club, Barcelona. I've, I've discussed the accolades that he's achieved before. And throughout all this, Barcelona was unable to retain him because they were unable to register his contract in time due to financial constraints. That's why he's not with Barcelona. Again, this is a guy who has set historic records for Barcelona. The most goals ever, 672 goals and 778 appearances. The most goals, the, 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 the fastest a uh, guy to score 200 goals in La Liga by the age of 25. He did this. He was the first player to score five goals in one match in the UEFA Champions League history. This is a six-time Ballon d'Or winner. The guy has achieved every single thing you could possibly imagine. Again, six times top scorer in the Champions League. Six times top scorer in either La Liga, Ballon d'Or winner, or top scorer at the 2014 Player Cup. FIFA Player of the Year. FIBA Best Winner in 2019. Six times won the European Gold Shoe. He won La Liga 10 times. Copa del Rey, seven times. UEFA Super Cup. The FIFA Club World Cup, three times apiece. The Champions League, four times. And now he just won a Copa America. This is a PSG team that has never even won or even sniffed. They've sniffed one time. They've never even won a Champions League ever. Not a single time. This guy's done it four times. This guy's done it four times. PSG, the closest they got was in 2019-2020, led by Neymar. They were the runners-up. They lost to Liverpool. And so PSG doesn't truly understand the guy that they're inheriting right now, the guy that has embodied winning everywhere he's gone at the club stage. You can argue, well, okay, maybe he hasn't as much on the international stage, though he just won the Copa America. But now you look at this PSG roster. I mean, the team that they feature is absolutely absurd with talent. You, I mean, you first start with the defensive line, and they just signed Sergio Ramos from Real Madrid. You got Marquinhos already. You got Bernat. And the, the team is just absolutely stacked right now. You got Hakimi. Then in the midfield, you got Marco Veratini, who's explosive and athletic. You got Paredes, who's a former teammate of Messi's at Argentina. And you got Jor uh, Giorgino Vinaldum. Hopefully, I didn't mispronounce his last name. But the, the absolutely spectacular midfield who played for Liverpool during that year 
and he actually scored two goals against Barcelona and Messi in the semifinals of the of the Champions League when Liverpool ultimately went on to win the Champions League over PSG. Then, only then do you get to the forwards and you've got Neymar, you've got Kylian Mbappe, and, and you got Messi. And again, you, you've got a guy in Kylian Mbappe who's already won a World Cup. He scored four goals in the World Cup. became just the second player to score a goal in a World Cup final right behind. And, and not only the second player, the second teenager to score a goal in the World Cup final behind Pele. That's who, that's who your running mate is. Neymar you've got on the left wing. And then you've got Navas in front of the net. Their backup, Donnarumma, the goalkeeper for Italy would be a starter on almost any other club team. It, it's it's the, the amount of talent they have is overflowing right now. It is absolutely absurd, the roster that they've put together, that they've managed to put together here. And all of these guys, especially the forwards, especially when you look at the trio, the three-headed monster of Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi, they're all wizards with the soccer ball. They're muses, and the soccer field is their canvas. It To watch these guys, I've said this before, I've, I've watched Lionel Messi in person, and it was one of the most exhilarating electric sports feelings I've ever had. To see a guy literally do nothing, just the ball on his foot, and you've got five defenders swarming his way, the attention that he draws the suspense that he creates, the imagination that you know he's going to display anything, that he can maneuver out of tight spaces, his dribbling. It's like he's got the soccer ball on a string. It's, it's truly one of a kind. He's an artist. All three of these guys are fantastic. They will sacrifice for one another, and they will be absolutely sensational. There's no question PSG. They've won like nine League, league One titles. I'm sure they'll make it 10. They are already prohibitive prohibitive favorites to win the Champions League as they should be. They should win it. They should be favored at the very least. And I cannot wait to watch these legends play and this team play. I, I live in Los Angeles. They're going to be playing in Europe at times. That's probably going to conflict with my sleeping schedule and I don't really care. I'll probably get up at three in the morning or four in the morning to watch these guys play. I normally don't, but for this compilation, this team, absolutely. I'm going to watch these te this team play because it is unique. We'll probably never get anything like it again. Seeing these three guys arguably in their primes still playing together. And I'm just happy that a legend in Messi can continue to play somewhere where he's got opportunities to compete and he's got opportunities to win because that's what I hope the most for him. That's what I had hoped the most for him. And I'm glad to see that he's in a much better situation for winning because Barcelona, the fact of the matter is even if he remained in Barcelona, they weren't even winning La Liga. So now he's joined PSG. It's official now. To see him playing with his kids on on the pitch at Parc de Princesse, de Princesse was just a, a really heartwarming sight. Happy for him. The scene again. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to check out the scene and the highlights. It was absolutely sensational.